Namaskar, I'm Professor Dev De Purkayastha from the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. Welcome to my course, Business Fundamental for Entrepreneurs, Part 1, Internal Operations. As part of the course, I'm very pleased to invite Mr. Kalpit Virwal to share a case study about how he founded Eckhart Boost when he was still a student at IIT Bombay. As background, Kalpit is an alumnus of IIT Bombay, and he shot to fame in 2017 when he was probably the first person to achieve complete full marks in the prestigious JE entrance exam which is an entrance exam to get into IIT Bombay or any of the IITs. He went to complete his computer science undergrad, and then he founded Eckhart Boost while still in the campus, and now he's growing his startup. So with this, it's my pleasure to hand over to Kalpit. Welcome to today's lecture. Today we are going to discuss business fundamentals for entrepreneurs. Uh, I have a company called Acadboost Technologies Private Limited and I'm going to tell you how I learn business and I use that knowledge in building my own business. I will also tell you how you can learn those uh, techniques yourselves. So a little bit about me. My name is Kalpit Pirwal. I was born in Udaipur and that's where my company, my business operates from. I'm 24 years old. I have a bachelor's in computer science from IIT Bombay. And I have some more achievements academically, which you can read about NTSC and All India Rank 1, which I got in the JE exam. Uh, but more importantly, we are going to discuss about how my business functions and how I started it. So this was just a hobby project, which started out as a Facebook page and a blog. Right after my exams were over, I started mentoring students about different kinds of exams and how you can study about them. Okay. So I had a Facebook page. I had a... Quora page where I had some popularity because of my J results and I gained some instant followers there and then but it was a small number of followers. From there I grew it just as a passion project, just as a hobby, uh, just because uh, you know I was uh, 17 or 18 years old at that time and I had holidays, I had nothing else to do so I just started writing a bit about uh, how I prepared for my exams. So slowly this evolved into a YouTube channel and then into a website and then we launched our own courses, our own app iOS as well as Android and then we built an entire platform for students of class 9th till college stage okay so we have online courses for all kinds of uh, varieties we have courses for J uh, students who are trying to get into engineering colleges we have courses for medical aspirants we have courses for students who are in classes 9th and 10th and are preparing for different kinds of exams olympiads or they just want to get an early start at their entrance exam preparations. We also have courses for students who are in colleges who couldn't get into great colleges and they want to upskill themselves. Okay, So we have a complete stack of solutions right from your class 9th till the time you get yourself a good job or a career. So some numbers, we have around 10 lakh plus students across our apps, website, followers, subscribers, all of those things. And we have around 10,000 users who have uh, paid us something, okay? And uh, this is all with zero advertising spend, okay? All of our marketing is done completely organically. I'll talk a bit more about it later on in the lecture. So the first question which arises in our mind when we talk about business fundamentals is that why should we learn business, okay? Why should we even think of learning about a business, right? Because a lot of us think that business is... 100% practical and that uh, you know it's just a business uh, a lot of people have this delusion that business studies is not actually a studies okay they just think that physics chemistry mathematics biology uh, you know these things are actual studies and business is more of a practical thing and I do agree with that premise because 80 to 90 percent of business is practical but there is a certain section of business which is not completely practical 
uh, sorry, which is uh, which involves some bit of theory as well. Okay, you need to know a bit about finance. You need to know a bit about uh, marketing. You need to know a bit about how to build your product. So these are all small small skills that you need for building a business. Okay, so the first thing which I would like to say is that business is basically maths. Okay, so there's a formula which I've listed. Uh, you can see it here. I've listed this formula. Okay, this is all you need to know. Uh, when it comes to business okay so what is this formula this formula is that traffic which is the number of people who visit your website or who come into your store or who visit your shop okay whatever it is multiplied by the conversion rate okay that is how many of those visitors can you convert into paid users okay converted by the price of your product the lifetime value of price so it could be a subscription product so let's say you're charging rupees 500 per month okay or you're charging dollar 100 per month so if a st someone stays for 10 months, okay, someone keeps using your service for 10 months. So we count all the revenue, okay. So this is like the complete uh, pricing of your product over a lifetime for uh, average user, multiplied by the margin, okay. So what is the margin? Margin is basically what percentage of your revenue. So this is your. So this these first three things are your revenue, right? This is how much money you're making. Now, you will also have some expenses inevitably, right? You will have to pay your employees, you will have to pay people who you outsource your things to, you will have to pay for all the services that you use, you will use a lot of product inventory as well. So you will have to pay for all of those things, right? You will have some kind of depreciation. So all of that is your expenses. So margin is basically the percentage of your revenue which is left over as your profit, which is in your hand after everything. So you multiply that and this will give you how much profit you're making because in the end business is about profit you don't have to make profit on day one but at some point you have to make profit right so this is the equation and this is all you need to know about running a business okay now there's a lot of study which can go into all of these individually but basically this is it so this is the math which i'm talking about in the first point so business is about business skills is about increasing all four of these things okay you want more traffic on your website so let's say someone has 1000 visitors on their website per month and then there's someone who has 10000 visitors to their website per month and both of them are in the same business it's obvious that the second business will have probably 10 times more revenue than the first one because surely because they have more traffic there are more people visiting their shop right then if you can convert more then you will sell more if you can sell a pricier product okay nobody nobody wants to sell a cheap product right everybody wants to sell a expensive products everyone wants to sell an iphone they don't want to sell a you know some random chinese company or some cheap phone right they want to sell an expensive a luxury product that's what every business should strive for in theory right and you want to have high margins you don't want to run a business which has like one percent or two percent profit for example the airline industry has um, an average profit of i think two percent uh, if you look at the global average which is abysmally small right you want to learn uh, how to build a high margin business which is usually a tech business okay internet enabled businesses online business these are all using technology right so these are some ways in which you can boost your margin so you have to increase all four of these things and that is what business studies is all about you need to read analyze observe and implement okay you have to keep on reading analytics you have to keep on reading books you have to keep on reading what your customers are saying you have to observe how people are using your products, what your competitors are doing. You have to analyze what is happening with the traffic, how many people are visiting, what are they doing after visiting, why are they not buying. You have to observe all of these things and you have to implement strategies in order to succeed. Okay. Now, another thing which you must understand is that there is no such thing as, you know, so a lot of people have this thought that they will build a business of, let's say, rupees 5 crores a year, 10 crores a year, whatever the number is and then they will be satisfied with it okay then okay itna maine kar liya, now i don't need to do more right they have this kind of a thinking but this is false this does not happen in business because in business you cannot afford to stagnate because there is no such thing as stagnation because the moment you decide to stagnate you will actually start dipping you will not stay at the same level so you have to keep on growing even if you want to maintain your business at the level you will have to work on it you will have to keep on growing even if you want to stay wherever you are because of one reason is inflation and because of competitors as well okay so you have to keep on learning and improving your business skill set what are the business skills that you need so the first skill you need is ideation okay you need to be able to think of good ideas and you need to be able to implement those ideas as well second is building your product okay so an idea is as good as nothing right because the one who makes money the one who builds a business the one who gains all kind of popularity and all the benefits of running a business is the one who has actually built the business it's not the guy who has thought of the business because anyone can think of things right 
what takes effort is building those things so you have to build your business your product then you have to do marketing and sales okay this is the lifeblood of any business if no one knows of your product your product will simply not sell you will not make money if you don't sell you don't do sales then what's the what's the business okay because business is all about selling things so if you don't sell things you don't have a business right so that is like the lifeblood of a business then you have to learn how to leverage others okay so you cannot build a business on your own a lot of people have this misunderstanding in their mind that they can run a business on their own okay this is the worst mistake that you can make actually you are just becoming a glorified employee and it's even worse than being an employee because in employment you don't have responsibilities you just have to do your work that's the responsibility you have you can go home at 9 to 5 and that's it you get paid if you are starting a business on your own you become what is called a solopreneur then you are not you are doing the worst of both worlds okay you are doing taking the worst side of uh, the business world risk and uh, all the stress that comes with it and all the responsibilities and you are still doing everything on your own so you are taking like the worst part of both employment and business so you have to learn how to leverage other people you have to learn how to outsource everything you are doing in the beginning stages it is okay you can uh, you know do everything on your own but later on you have to hire people you have to leverage money as well okay so some businesses require a lot of money to grow and you cannot grow or you cannot even start without having money so you have to leverage investors now these investors can be even banks if they give you a loan or it can be someone who is investing in your company in a equity transaction then uh, we have tools okay so we have a lot of ai tools lot of software tools which have essentially taken up the role of a lot of people so in earlier times we used to have a lot of uh, you know people doing very menial tasks like accounting or social media management now these things can be automated using tools so you have to learn how to leverage those as well and probably the most important skill of all is the last one which is discipline determination and risk management because for starting a business you need to have determination and you need to have a healthy appetite of risk okay i'm not asking you to go broke Uh, trying to run a business you have to analyze how much risk you can take not everyone has the same risk appetite a lot of people don't have stability in their life in which case you should uh, reconsider what kind of a business you want to build i'm not saying you cannot build one but you should uh, think a bit about uh, you know if you want to build a crash and burn kind of a business you want to build a profitable business what what exactly your strategy strategy is going to be so you have to understand your risk level and you have to calibrate your business model according to that you have to be determined and most importantly you have to be disciplined because in every business there are going to be some very menial tasks which require a lot of effort and they are just boring they will not get ahead unless you can work on them okay so now let's discuss these point by point ideation okay so how can you ideate better so the first thing i would suggest is to read more and talk to more people so when you talk to a lot of people you understand the pain points of people in the, uh, and you also gain ref, uh, a reflection of what happens in others lives okay a lot of people they just know what is happening in their life they don't know what is going on in others life and we as uh, engineers a lot of people are watching this are probably engineers so we have a certain uh, perception of the world it might not be the same as someone else okay and if you are just thinking the way you think then you are being to be honest a bit selfish because you cannot start a business which can impact the world if you just think the way you think all right because an entrepreneur is an exceptional being right he or she will have a certain thought process which will not be shared by the world okay and you have to calibrate yourself according to the world and that can be done by talking to more people you should also read a bit you should read some books you should read news you should read all of those things because that gives us perspective and it tells us about what's going on in the world okay another thing which has helped me is spending some time alone observing people reading the news trends and then you can just go on a walk when you go outside you can think about these things okay so that is something that i really enjoy you know walking in the grass or going outside in the sun these things are not only beneficial for your health i believe that you get a lot better ideas when you go outside in the sun you walk a bit you do some exercise i think it's good for the ideation side of our brain always mind your surroundings and a good idea is in combination or it's at an intersection of what you know what can be a viable business what people want and what you can do for 10 plus years because business is not a you know one year thing you will be doing that business for 5 or 10 or 20 years right so for you have to have the uh, appetite or you have to have the capacity to run for so much time right the next thing is building a product so it has 
So earlier, building a product used to be a big deal, okay? It used to be, you know, people used to go crazy about coding and, you know, we have to code an app or website. Nowadays, it is not like that. It is very easy. There are lots of no-code, SaaS, AI, agency, these kind of things are there, freelancers, who can build your product for you in just a matter of weeks. So it, you don't have to be a coder. You don't have to be a technical person. Uh, you can build a website very easily using these ways, okay? Another thing which I must say is that you should think about how you can solve your customers' problems, not about the features or the tech of your product, right? Fast and good is better than slow and great, okay? Because you have to launch fast, you have to know where your misgivings were and you have to correct on them, okay? You have to keep on iterating on your idea. Don't just, you know, keep building very slowly and then by the time you launch, everyone else is out there with a the product. Then we have to leverage, we can take money in terms of debt or venture capital if your business needs a lot of uh, capital for expansion or uh, operation or if it's not profitable initially. You must leverage people. As I mentioned, you cannot work in the business. You have to work on the business. You have to ideate, you have to have the vision. You have to instruct people on how to grow the business. You should not grow the business yourself, okay? That is one thing very important. Uh, your, work, your work should only be ideating, okay? And then you hire someone to do that work for you. Okay, these hires don't have to be full-time people. You can use some tools, some AI, some freelancer, some agency as well. That is also fine, but you should outsource your work. That is important. The last point is discipline and determination. Okay, so entrepreneurship is not pretty. A lot of people have made this a very cliched line that, uh, you know, entrepreneurship is not pretty. The money is nice. Okay, a lot of people think that uh, startup people are broke. Well, if you are not a good entrepreneur, then maybe. Otherwise, the money thing is nice. But the process of making that money is usually not pretty. Okay, it is usually boring. You have to do some sales. You have to do some people management. All of these things are not, uh, you know, pretty like they look in movies and TV shows. Okay, it's just boring, plain, simple work. Okay, growth can often be slow, linear, frustrating. Okay, uh, when people brag about, okay, 10x growth in one year, usually there, there is some caveat in that. They have probably burned maybe they are in 1000% loss for that uh, growth. So all of these things are there, okay? Uh, it is not easy to grow. You will have to have some patience and uh, you have to be determined in order to continue despite these challenges, okay? But you should not, you know, give away your life just uh, beating up an, a business idea which is not working. So you have to be reasonable about how much determined you are, okay? Don't be over optimistic as well. Business is about daily habits, okay? You need to have daily habits that, you know, today we have these, 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 these tasks, we will do it, okay? No matter how our mood is, we will try to do as much as we can, okay? There is a certain amount of risk associated with any business activity. It is basically an investment of time and money. So you should understand how much risk you can take and build a business only according to that, okay? Don't take too much risk and don't take too little risk, okay? Uh, but you have to understand this very well. Business is risky and you have to have a risk appetite to continue. So how do I learn these things? Okay. So the first way of doing it is by learning. And that is like the 90% of the learning, right? You cannot learn business by reading. Okay. It is not a course. It is not something, you know, that you read from a book. Books are nice. I will discuss them. But mostly it's by doing. Just launch something. See what happens. If if it doesn't do well, doesn't matter. You can launch again. Okay, a lot of people think that people are judging them. They are not. Everyone is busy in their lives. You can launch something. People will forget about it after one month, even if it's a failed product, right? It doesn't matter. But if you are successful only even once, that can actually change your life. Read books, interact with su uh, successful mentors, follow their social media, etc. But, uh, you know, a lot of people tend to do this too much. They just keep on reading Twitter and LinkedIn and all kinds of podcasts and books, which doesn't lead to anywhere. You should have some, uh, you know, inspirations. You should follow these things sometimes, okay? Read when you need to know something. But don't be someone who is just reading business books 10 hours a day and not building anything, okay? For concrete skills, blogs and courses are good, okay? Our university division is actually for this purpose only. That's why we built it, because this is important, okay? I even took the entrepreneurship course in IIT Bombay. Uh, where I got to learn a lot of these things. However, you should understand that 90% of learning will happen outside the classroom, okay? Classroom is for theory. Ne then you have to go and apply these things, all right? Now, my counsel to aspiring uh, entrepreneurs, uh, students who would like to build a startup, a company, and to people who are not even students and watching this, uh, what, what would I advise you? 
first i would advise you is that you don't have time okay a lot of people are under this impression that you know you are young and you have lot of time and you know even i was told these things when i was 17 18 19 and i am told these even today i am 24 year right now i am going to be 25 next year and you will not get many opportunities to be an entrepreneur okay i know i am 25 and i am saying this but you have to understand this that as life progresses you will have to take up a job after college you know and all kinds of responsibilities will start mounting up and then it will be harder and harder to take risks okay i started when i was 17 or 18 so i had my entire college life to build a business so by the time i was graduating i had a business which was operational which was uh, making profit and really good profits so i didn't have to sit for placements and i could continue on my entrepreneurial journey and now i'm doing great at my age now if you keep on waiting because you think that you have some time or you know you can wait for your after your placements will build no that time will not come because you will now start uh, you know working on your job or something like that so don't be uh, you have to be a bit impatient about this okay college is the best time you don't have much time and uh, you will have a lot of freedom as well so uh, start now start just get started with something okay even if it's a bad idea according to you just get started if you don't you will regret it because time will pass and the last thing which i would say is that you should start small but think big okay don't think of ideas that you cannot pull off pull off right now start with something that can make you a few dollars right now okay it will make you few rupees it will maybe make up your pocket money for the month okay start th- some with something like this slowly you will keep on growing it and one day you will be making crores and millions of dollars trust me you will okay and hopefully you will do something impactful for the world as well so thank you i hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture you learned something from it i thank nptel and iit bombay for inviting me and for sharing uh, for sharing my learnings If you have any queries, you can feel free to reach me out on my social handles. I'm pretty Googleable. You can Google Kalpit Vival. You can find me, or you can email me at kalpit@academyacadbus.com. Thank you for watching.